Well, runners from central New York are in Boston right now to take part in that event. Our Megan Coleman is there right now in Boston seeing all the security measures that are taking place and she's also right now talking with local people. Good morning, Megan. Lisa, good morning once again from Boston. Our live coverage continues here this morning. It is a beautiful, cool, crisp day here in Boston. You can see right now the runners are here. Uh, the buses are here. They are going to be boarding these buses, heading to the starting line. It is such an exciting day for these runners, these 36,000 runners who have spent so much time, hard work, and dedication preparing for this very day. And they will not only be running for themselves, but certainly as a tribute to the victims of last year's Boston Marathon. As you might expect, Police presence is tremendously beefed up this year. They have been working for many, many months. Police and security officials working to develop this plan to keep the fans and the spectators safe. Well, they have installed more than 100 cameras along the marathon route. They've set up more than 50 observation points around the finish line to monitor the crowd. Fans will see security checkpoints. They've been asked to carry personal items in clear plastic bags, avoid carrying backpacks, coolers, suitcases, glass containers, and handbags. The runners are also seeing restrictions this year as well. No bags at the start or finish line of the race or along the marathon route. And among the runners we've talked to here, Linda Owens from Liverpool, she was five minutes from the finish line last year year when the bombs went off. Well, she is back this year, not only for herself, but for all those who didn't get a chance to finish the race last year. I'm wearing the 2013 jacket uh, because I feel I'm running that race tomorrow. When I finish the race, I will put my 2014 jacket on and then I will be, I will have done what I set out to do. Linda and all the other runners here from Central New York certainly so excited about this big day running the Boston Marathon, the culmination of so much hard work for them. They say that they never hesitated about running in this year's race. In fact, they say it pushed them even more to run for the victims as well. Our live coverage will continue here from Boston this morning, also tonight at 5 and 6 o'clock. You can follow along. I'll be tweeting at Meg's News Flash and on our website, cnycentral.com. That's the latest live here in Boston. Boston this morning. Lisa, back to you.